All right, as requested, I'm adding Iron Source adds to Unity, my Unity project. And as you could see here, I only have three buttons. That's it. I set my background on my main camera to black and also my canvas. I scaled with screen size 1080 by 1920. Um, all links to the tutorials will be in the description. All the scripts, links to that are in the description as well. If you want to see this app in action, it is also in the description. All the links you need will be there. Let's start with, um, let's go into the, their tutorial. So first, let me drag this over so you could all see the same thing I'm seeing. First thing we need to do, let's go to the very top, is add the SDK. So download the SDK, click here, link in the description. You download it. You right click on your project tab here, or you could also go to assets up here. We're going to import package, custom package, downloads, and that one you downloaded should be right here. Double click and you click all of them, make sure they're all selected. You click OK, and then it will import all of them. Make sure to change build settings to either Android or iOS and switch the platform. Whew. Okay, once you're done that, we imported the SDK. You're going to get this Iron Source tab up here. We're going to click on Integration Manager. Make sure it's updated. Make sure you're up to date. If you want to add Facebook Audience Network, which I will add on the next video, you're going to install it. So mine is updated, it's ready to go. Once that's done, you might also want to check your developer settings in Iron Source Mediation settings. Over here, you will see an Android app key, so you might want to add the app key from your Iron Source uh, dashboard, whichever yours is. This this is mine. I enabled Iron Source SDK. I don't think these are really that important. I enabled them anyways, just for help, I guess. Um, anyways, I only have three buttons. Once you import the SDK, let's see what our next step is. So we used a Unity Manager. We already did that. Something you might want to check out. So over here in Unity, if you go to Assets, External Dependency Manager, Android Resolver, and you go to Settings, make sure that, where is it? Uh, Patch main template. So that should be. It's here somewhere. Let me extend this. Patch main gr template gradle. Patch main template gradle. Mine was enabled. For some reason now, I can't find it. Here it is. Patch main template dot gradle. So make sure that is enabled, checked. And uh, mine is checked, so you don't have to worry about that. But if it's unchecked, make sure, make sure it's checked. Once that is done, settings for iOS. We're not dealing with iOS. We're only dealing with Android in this video right now. iOS requires some other configurations with Xcode and all that stuff. Anyways, next step, initialize the ad units. Okay, well, that's where I, we make a script. So we go into our scripts folder. I made it in a script called initialize ads, which is also initialize banner for me. So what they want is, let me show you here. First, they want you to add a void on application pause. So I just added that code. Where is it? Here it is, and a void on application pause. Um, on awake, I initialized the agent with the app key. And the app key is just a public string that I inputted the app key here in Unity. 
in our main camera, which is where I applied the script. So you, you just grab this script, drag it on, and that's it. And it's attached to the main camera. And we added the app key, which is our app key. And now every any time we use app key, it will use the app key that we entered. Anyways, on awake, we initialized it with our app key. On start, it will load the banner. So load banner is right here. And when you load the banner, it just tells Iron Source to load a banner in the position and the size of the banner. And that's it. And that should initialize all of your ads once and it should load the banner. Once that's done, that so that will take care of your banner and the initialization. It will launch automatically because I called it over here on start load banner. If you all if you want, you could also bind it to a button, which I also did in case it wouldn't load, but it loads most of the time. Interstitial ads. So interstitial ads with uh, Iron Source are pretty simple. Um, you, I used one event listener for it, and it's really all you need to make this work. So on start, you basically just load the interstitial, and you add an event listener on add closed. So whenever the ad is closed. OK. So on interstitial add closed, it loads an interstitial. Why? Because when you play the interstitial, it will show the first interstitial you loaded. So it will load an interstitial on start. And then when you click the button, it will show the interstitial. Once the interstitial is closed, it will call this on closed. And once it's closed, it will load the, ne the next interstitial. So by the time you click the button right here, another interstitial will be ready to load. And that's it for that script. Now for the rewarded, it's similar. Um, you need to add a should track network state to true on start. Um, I also added two event listeners and a show rewarded ad on rewarded. So it's a public, public void. Whenever the user clicks the button, it will show rewarded ad and that when Whenever the rewarded as it's closed, it will initialize another rewarded video. And then once you click the button, the video should be loaded and ready to go. Um, they also suggested I add a reward video availability changed event. So I did. There's one reference to it. So I'm guessing something's happening there. Besides that, nothing else you really have to do i will leave links to the scripts in the description if you test it in the app itself it's not going to function also in your dashboard so as you could see nothing happens when i click it in the test however if you go to your dashboard let me see if i could pull up my dashboard really quick for iron source and you go to add units and placements once you create your app you must make sure test mode is active on the ads you're going to be running on it besides that if you go to performance you could see i have nothing but i do have eight sessions so it is noticing that i am on the app and i'm using their sdk and the apps are showing as you could see the interstitial work the rewarded work mind you these are only test ads once the app goes live i will upgrade them so check the links in the description if you want all the scripts and all the tutorials and all basically everything i used in this video will be in the description so if this video helped you out please let me know in the comments if you're having problems let me know in the comments maybe i could help um and uh, we'll go from there uh next in the next video we're going to be doing mediation with iron source and facebook so till the next one guys cheers